Concern with Solitude is your Tempo Beatdown deck, as Rhino Solitude works against that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, sometimes you can just hard cast it. I have been advocating for them to errata Karuga to have the Luris text for, you know, 10 years at this point. I don't want that. Get out. Maybe it did, though. Maybe we're just living in some alternate reality. Ikoria actually came out at the same time that Urza Saga did. And not the card. Scaly Boys. Alright, well, I'm going to do my thing. My deck is only good at doing one thing. And I will do said thing. I mean, having, what, 14 uh, Vigilance, First Strike, Lifelink power against Scales has got to be good, right? Yeah, why no Furies? Chat, real quick, be right back. I'm going to go to the bathroom. It besaged me. Hey, it's me, your friend. Doomwake. No, we don't have we can't do that bit on this channel. I wish we could. Kind of rude, honestly. Uh I guess I'll get a surveil land. Mm. Kinda want that. I think my next turn is just casting another ley line, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's keep that. Yeah, I'm going to cast another ley line. White, green, red, blue. That we can shardless the turn after. I mean, if they're willing to besage you with, then they probably care about it a lot. I think the ley line here is a little bit better because it lets me attack with the Scion and still present a blocker for Nexus just in case that's lethal. But like, if I play Shardless that turn, then I can't attack with Scion and be able to block the Nexus. I did not know that. Your dad used to have Violin Outburst. I still got mine. I got him right here. And I have the counterpart too. We got every part of the Buffalo. We got the 07. And the new blood. I should just own every Cascade card. I mean, what if they ban Ardenplea next? Then I'm going to have to play Demonic Dread. I got Bloodbraid Elves too, but that one's not playable, unfortunately. Walking Barista. You bought a Spanish Outburst a few days before ban. You hate to see it. Okay, is it more important to have one point of power on offense or two points of power on defense? Uh, they're at 16. I'm not sure the one extra damage changes all that much, right? Because it's still a four-turn clock. So I think it might just be better to have the extra body on defense, I think. I don't know why I'm pre-combating this, but whatever. Cast. We can just double spell next turn. Attack for four. <clears throat> Cascade was cool when it was Bloodbraid into Blightning. What about Bituminous Blast into Bloodbraid Elf into Blightning? Then it was even cooler. I mean, I don't know. Living In's been a deck forever. Living In's been a deck since, like, what, 24? 14-ish? 2013, something like that? Almost 10 years. Was it 09? Mm, were people playing Living End in Standard? Or no, were they doing it in Extended before Modern was announced the format? They might have been. Right. Travis Wu was the first one to play. Let me see if I can find, like, the very... F I want to see if I can find the first Living End deck. What are they doing? Travis Wu living in extended. I don't know what they're doing. 
All right, Travis Smooth living in Grand Prix Oakland 2010 extended. Oh, yeah, we found it. Look at this deck. Four Deadshot Minotaur, four Fulminator Mage, four Ingot Chewer, four Jungle Weaver, four Monstrous Carabid, four Valley Ranit, four Street Wraith, four Demonic Dread, four Living End, four Violent Outburst, two Night of Souls Betrayal. Also, this is 61 cards, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> three Finks, three Pulls, four Shriek Maw, three Thought Hemorrhage. What a, what a banger of a deck list. What an absolute banger. All right, I have six. What else is from this top eight? Elves, Matt Nass. What's the Elves deck like? Arbor, Boreal, Archdruid, Visionary. Oh, this deck had Glimpse. Of course it did. Warden, Witness, Heritage. Oh, they're back. All right, never mind. Our opponent doesn't want to let us let us cook. Um... Oh, they can give the Zabaz flying now. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. So we don't have lethal. Can we do this again? Four put a counter. Move a counter deal damage. So they can pop it or give it flying. So if I send everything, they give it flying, block here. Take 10, go to 2. I think it's just better to wait till next turn and hold up subtlety. Yeah, I calmly did some shady shit. Remember using Simeon Spirit Guide and living in a turn 2 Blood Moon? Yeah, I remember that too. I mean, I remember using Simeon Spirit Guide in the Tibalt Cascade deck. That was really stupid. Are we dead to Ozolith? How are we dead to Ozolith? <laughs> it's true, if only I had a spell that gave all of my permanents plus 1, plus 0. Oh. Hmm... If only there was a card that would allow me to do that. It's been good so far, Nadi. We 4 won the first thing we played. Is my board state good? It's not bad. I'll give you that bunch. Okay, they did play the Ozolith. Now, I don't know how we're... Are, are we dead to this? Somebody in chat was saying we're dead. I have no clue. We might be dead. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. They kill Walker with Sabah's thing. Move counters ping with Inkvoth. Oh, right. Wait, no. That's only seven, right? Do I subtlety this? I mean, they have no cards in hand, and you're saying that I'm dead anyway, so I might as well do it. I, I don't know how I'm dead, but I'm sure they're going to show me. I'm sure they will show me. I'm curious. Because I don't see it, you know? And I'd like to see, I'd li I'd like in these spots for them to show me how their deck works, because I still don't know exactly what, what Scales does. Nobody does. Wait, am I not dead now because they played the Zabaz? Counters go in, counters go out. Can't really explain that. Nobody knows. Math, math is not my strong suit. I still don't see it, so. Yeah, I still don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've been staring at this board for three minutes and I still don't see how I'm dead. Maybe I'm not dead? Pause. Did they fuck it up? I nope. Does anybody in chat actually know? They misplayed. How did they misplay? Okay. Counter on Nexus, I assume? Counter there. Yeah. No, I think chat saying they're killing me by using Nexus pings with the Ballista under the Cauldron. But I, I still count, I only see eight, right? Because they go, yeah, it's only eight, right? They put eight counters in the Nexus. How are they getting to ten, though? Right? Ne the Ozilus has, has eight counters. How do they get to ten? Like, they could deal me eight Infect. I feel like they didn't have a way to get to ten here. At nine. Well, that's eight right there. They're saying you're saying they did it wrong. I don't I don't know. Also, please use they when you're referring to our opponent. We don't know the gender of our opponent. So please use please use they. Please, please, please. They didn't pump the walker first. They did, though, didn't they? I thought they did pump the walker. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Chad is missing my rhinos fly. 
Uh, well, the rhinos don't fly. This one flies. But I still have a blocker either way. It's just common courtesy. I don't think it's fair to assume that we know the gender of our opponent. You know what I mean? Mm -mm -mm. Come on, dude. <laughs> just like, take take a day off. <laughs> Come back when you're when you're a reasonable chatter. Please and thank you. <laughs> Come on, dude. Do you get to use your ban powers? I didn't ban them. I probably should have. I gave them a day off, but I probably should have banned them. All right, what do you want to get scales? I would like force. I would like dismember. You ban them on an accident at the same time. I mean, honestly, probably better that they're banned, so. It says Parma ban. Probably, probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, first first time first time chatter for real. Uh what's bad against them? I assume force is not great. Subtlety is decent-ish. Alright, what Don could say. Tap walker to add a counter, sack it. Tap walker to add a counter, so it would be at not eight at that point. Sack it, activate Ink Moth, tap Cauldron, exiling the hanger back. I thought that was only nine still, though, right? The Cauldron, tap Ink Moth for the tenth counter. Did they have enough mana to use... Like, did they have enough mana to animate the Nexus and activate it after they moved the counters? I thought, I thought they were short mana. Get one more for the Cauldron. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, I gotcha. What the hell do I cut against them? I have no idea. Cut a couple scions, maybe. I don't know. Scion seems really good. Yeah, they. I think they. I think you're right. I think they lost because they cast the the one drop. They probably had me if they didn't cast the one drop. I don't know what to cut, man. Two subtleties. Maybe like one subtlety, one scion. We'll try that. I don't think I want to bring in Blood Moon. Maybe Blood Moon's more of a consideration on the play than the draw. But I don't think I want it on the draw. Yeah, one thing we've learned today is that not a single person in chat, including myself, knows how the Ozolith works. Except for Donkin. Donkin was the one who I saw posted in the line. Ooh, keep this. This hand is nice. I didn't see you post it, but I'll take your word for it. No, the new Ozolith. No, not my ley line. Come on, man. Come on, dog. Rude. Uh, well, that sucks. Now we can't Scion. I mean, this is going to have to get Breeding Pool at some point, so I might as well get the Archive first. Should I Lorien before Surveilling? Probably, right? Do I need to hold up Dismember? No, I don't think so. I don't think I need to hold up Dismember this turn. Maybe at that. I need to find a Force of Vigor stat. <clears throat> Pendle Haven is really good. Specifically the Legends version. I don't like the uh, the FNM promo, the reprint one. What else? It got reprinted somewhere else, I think, too. And it had shitty art. Okay. It's not great. I mean, I don't know. I'm just going to cast Shardless Agent, and you can figure it out. If I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just going to cast my Shardless. You figure it out. Was it Masters 25? It might have been, yeah. Any primers, chat? Any uh, any any Twitch primers in the chat? Anybody, any people that don't want to watch any more of those ads? Yeah, we are, like, extremely dead this turn, because they just get Ozolith, right? Bezos Buck spotted. I'm surprised more people haven't been complaining about ads. I did increase the number of ads. Black thank you for the three month resub. Welcome back. I did increase the number of ads for this month because they they're doing another ads incentive. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Any comments about MH3 box prices? No. What are they are did, are they pre-selling on Amazon already? Too many ads. Well, if you if you say that there are too many ads, you know there is a very very easy way to avoid those ads. I mean, you can complain about them, but 350? That's insane. I mean, that's just got to be the pre-order price. That can't be the MSRP. Did they, like, when they made the article for MH3, did they post what the, like, did they post ahead of time what the MSRP is going to be? I don't know if the, I, I honestly don't know if they do. There isn't MSRP anymore? Wait, really? What's the MSRP on a Prime sub? Curiosity, thank you for the five month resub. So like how do they how do they determine what price what what boxes cost if there's no MSRP? Do they just like g give boxes to stores and be like you can you can charge whatever you want, we don't give a shit. I didn't know that. They do it on vibes. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's wild. I didn't do the math, by the way. If I'm dead, I'm dead. I don't give a shit. Alright, fifteen. I'm at two. Or no, it is lethal, right? Probably should have done the math. I think it's exaxes. It's more than exaxes. Alistair, thank you for the two month reset. Welcome back, Alistair. I agree. You know, they can you could take my violent outburst. You can take my fury, but my god damn it, you will never take these rhinos away from me. Just don't take my Shardless Agent, please. If you take that one, then you could probably take the Rhinos, too. <laughs> yeah, for whatever reason, if you sub, if you try to sub on phone, they're, it's more expensive on, on mobile. I don't know why that's the case. Oh, because they have to pay the they have to pay Apple a fee, right? Is that why that is? Because I think they have to pay Apple a fee. I think that's, that's how it works. Because they're doing it through the App Store. Yeah. That's so, that's so, that's so shitty. Can you not? So now I can't turn to Scion. So I guess we go Abzan, Triome, Untap, get Blue Red, Surveil Land. Or we could just draw Blue Fetch. That is not a Blue Fetch. That is a good card, but... Yeah, we're still fine. I guess I don't have a green card to pitch to force, but we'll find one. What, I have a red nose? It's just very dry. Yeah, maybe I want to look like a reindeer. You ever... What What if I just want to look like a reindeer, you know? I don't know. You ever think of that? All right, Ardent Plea, save me. Mm, mm, mm. She raining on my deer till my nose is red. That that one's a keeper. No one's going to be talking shit when it's too snowy to see on Christmas. We'll see, no matter how much snow there is, you can always see it in the distance, you know? Okay, I found a green card. That's nice. I have located a green card. So now we just win, right? Uh, when do I time this stuff? Obviously, I'm casting Scion. Uh, pass. They make a dude. I don't really care about that. I could kill the scales now. But I can also just force the scales, right? I don't think I have to do anything yet. <laughs> I mean, I have, like, I have infinite interaction. I don't know how they play through force plus binding. I don't think they can. <laughs> okay, their plan is make a 2-2. Uh, sure. They have died. Yeah, they're extremely dead. <clears throat> can we get some 0-7s in the chat for Living End? It is, you know, it is an unfortunate casualty. I will say that. I do, I do kind of feel for the Living End players. I mean, is there a way to build Living End without Outburst? I don't I don't think there is, but I don't know. 
Maybe. Maybe somebody will figure it out. Yeah, it's like, I I agree with Living End being terrible gameplay, but I still, at the end of the day, I still kind of feel bad for them, you know? They did lose their deck. That's about the time she walked away from me. Four cards in hand. I think I'm just going to do this and not cast the Binding. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, go. They go to two. Sure, I'll take a second force. I mean, I don't have a green card, but... Beerus went 6-1 and one of the day with Bant Living End. Do you know what Beerus' deck list looked like, Fizz? Because I'm curious. I wanted to see what the what the new list looked like. I saw him play against Spike on on Spike's stream. Yeah, I know. Where's Menino Day? Has Menino Day posted? Do we know Do we know if Menino is okay? Can we get a wellness check on Menino Day, please? Uh oh, well. <laughs> there's a Menino Day post from <laughs> seven hours ago. We just Menino Day is just doing his thing, you know? Toot to Fairy. Alright. Looks like he looks like he's doing alright. Menino Ne will survive. You love to see it. Walking Barista. That doesn't do anything. That does nothing. Uh, yeah, resolves. You can have that. What could they possibly have here? I'm going to untap. I'm going to take a draw step. I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to attack. With both of my rhinos. They could have fog. Do listen to me, one. I mean, you should at least try the band list. Like, if, if you're a living end gamer, it's worth trying out, right? Does Green Day have any bad songs? I'm not sure they do. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. That's this is all fine. <laughs> this is still all fine. Do they have lightning bolt? Yeah, I'll just I'll just kill the ballista, fine. <laughs> I mean it did better anyways, but like you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, they were repeating that. Alright, cool. One match down. Let's do it. Yeah, that is a good point. I guess we have blue, blue, 88 flyer, <laughs> which is kind of the same thing, I guess. Yeah, that is a good point. What if it's a 10, 10? More or less playable? Oh, you're saying because it, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's probably the same thing, right? I don't, there's not that much difference between it being an 88 and a 10, 10. <clears throat> Three mana, six, six. Yeah, well, the thing about standard is, should I force this? The thing about standard is it's much more centered around mid range, and modern is not really a mid range format. There's there's a big difference between modern and standard. What's up, ADC? I kind of want to force this, but I don't know if I should. Yeah, that is true. The ten ten makes it a, a two turn clock. A lot of scales today, huh? I agree, Agent. I also think that standard is currently the best format. We're going to play some standard after this league. I want to play some more with that Voja deck that we played yesterday. I only played two matches yesterday, and we won both of them, so I want to keep going with that deck. That deck was super sick. Did the wrong fetch, but whatever. Mm, sure. I guess I will keep more Rhinos. Better Ozolith? Is it better? Like, would I, would I have rather countered that Ozolith? Maybe. Probably. Is it cracked? Um, I would probably recommend the version that we played first without Solitude. I don't think... So, like, I don't think Solitude is a bad card, per se, but I don't think it adds anything meaningful 
but I, I don't know. Like, Fire Ace is just whatever. I don't know what that last slot should be. I don't think it should be Fire Ace, but I also don't think it should be Solitude. Two jars, one Ozolith. It's a big-ass Ravager. Not, not exactly the card that I wanted to draw. Uh, no, I don't think you want to cut Subtlety. Subtlety is just too good against Amulet and, uh, and Yawgmoth. And I can't really attack. I don't think I can possibly win this game. I'm just dead next turn, right? If they go for it. I'm gonna hope that they, like, play around me having something in my hand. I don't know what they could possibly play around, though. Because I only have one mana up, and I can't cast Binding. I could draw Binding next turn, though. Yeah, I mean, if I had Binding, I could have killed the Ravager while they were tapped out. That would have been a lot better. Yeah, alright. I'm not going to make them go through it. We're dead. Alright, even. A lot of scales, a lot of scales. Give me the forces, give me the dismembers. I think on the Blood Moon, or on the play, I do kind of want to try Blood Moon. Uh, negation bad. Let's try cutting all the subtleties. I don't know if that's right, but I don't know what else to cut. Like, I'm never cutting binding. I think the Scion Leyline plan is good against them. Shadow will be tier one, guys. Doesn't the Gorios deck play for Solitude? And that's one of the best decks in the format. I don't know. Manito and Aegis trophied with it. It can't be that bad. Although, you know, Menino Nate trophies with every living end deck he ever plays. Like, this doesn't look terrible. This looks kind of fine. I don't I don't even hate the main deck to fairies. Oh well. I will keep my hand. Who will remember your last goodbye? What would they have to print in MH3 to make Adnaz great again? Duncan would know. Adnaz is never coming back. You take that back. How could you say something like that? <laughs> Black Lotus. Good answer, honestly. Good answer. You're not wrong. Bro, chill. Good thing I have Binding. I don't give a fuck about that Chalice. I think I want to Scry Land. And by Scry, I mean Surveil. Spirit Guide Unban. What about, like... What's the most offensive Spirit Guide that they could print? Like, they already have red and green. Blue is probably the most offensive one. Just in terms of... Not just color ply bleed, but also what it would do to the format. It's got to be blue, right? Yeah, it's a blue bitch, too. That would be so broken. <laughs> blue spirit guide. Black would be pretty good, too. Imagine, oh my god, imagine the black one. Because, okay, so... Well, I guess grief is not an instant. Okay, so here we go. Here we out, right? So you go ley line of anticipation... Right? Open on Leyline. On their upkeep, you go Grief, Pitch. Um, <laughs> pitch the Black Spirit Guide to not dead after all them. So you get two cards out of their hand on their first turn. <laughs> that would be nice. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. Yeah, the white one would be pretty good too. Like turn one Thalia. Yeah, lean an arbiter too. I will say, thank God, that pick your poison is a sorcery, because otherwise they could have just casted it in response to be casting shardless, and that would have been bad. Although I could have cycled line, I guess. The only way to make Adnaz good again is to make burn tier zero. Okay, so the way to make the way to make Adnaz good is print Fire Blast and Price of Progress is what you're telling me. I don't hate it. I'm in for it. I'm sure Burn players would enjoy it. I mean, if Burn's gonna have a 27% win rate at the most recent RC, we we gotta get we gotta throw Burn a boat at some point, you know? We got we gotta give him something. All these other decks are getting busted, and what's when's the last time that Burn got a new card? 
It's like Roiling Vortex, I think. I, I'm pretty sure that's the newest card they're playing. Hashtag make burn great again. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep this hand. Yeah, give us Fire Blast. I mean, I would honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they gave us Fire Blast at this point. Compared to some of the other stuff they've done, I don't even think it would be that offensive. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not joking. Part of the new Flare Cycle. Oh, oh, so it deals four to them. But in so, what's th the new Flare Cycle is you have to sack a dude, right? Bro, imagine this. Turn one, Goblin Guide, attack, post-combat, sack my Goblin Guide, dome for four. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah, non-token. Goblin Guide's a non-token. Bro, stop with the chalices. I guess this game I don't really care, because I have two Scions. Wayward Guide Beast finally playable? I don't know if I'd go that far. I don't I don't know if I want to go that far. Graveyard. You missed the Luris meta. Luris meta for for which deck? Chain landing in modern. <laughs> Chalice on twelve. How about engineered explosives on twelve? Wait, does Ozlith work with explosives? No, it's only creatures. Damn. Damn, you hate to see it. Oh, for Adnaws, okay. Yeah, yeah. You guys remember when they used to let you just put Luris into play for three mana? Pepperidge Farm remembers those days. I know that a lot of people don't really like Luris, and I understand that, but that was some of the most fun that I've ever had playing Modern. I, I'm not joking when I say that. I, I love that format. It was so much fun. I guess I'll kill these two. I don't know. Not even that I care about them, but I don't want the big encounters on Ravager. <clears throat> yeah, Lotus, Luris, replay Lotus. Did they ever... They did unban Luris in, uh, in Vintage, right? I think they did. But it was... How long was Luris banned before they unbanned it? I don't remember. But yeah, Luris was famously the only card to ever be banned in Vintage for power level reasons. Kind of wild. Yeah, and Lur they unbanned it, and Loris is still broken, even with the three mana, the even with the, the nerf. Imagine that. They banned it, nerfed it, unbanned it, and it's still it's still the best deck. Hmm. Almost like the almost like the deck that we're playing with that doesn't have a certain card that was just banned. Hmm. So lay down. You won your first challenge with Olderus and Pioneer? Oh yeah, the Auras deck. Yeah, people played it in Burn, Auras. What other good Luris Pioneer decks were there? I feel like there was some there was oh yeah, the Rakdos um Arcanist deck, right? That deck was sick too. Yeah. Sacrifice with Luris. Yeah. God, bring back Luris and Pioneer, please. What do you got do you really think that Luris would be too good in Pioneer? I, I don't think it would be. It's like, I guess maybe it's a, it's an argument. It's a conversation that we can have, but... I think it would be fine. It at least gives the decks that want to play low to the ground something to kind of fight back against Cruz and Phoenix. Right? And, like, same thing against Rakdos midrange. Unban Uro and Pioneer? Not opposed to it. Why are they attacking? What am I missing? So, Exile... There's no creatures in the bin. Oh, but they can use Ravager. Can't they... They can only make this a 7-7, seven, seven, right? Animate Nexus. Sack Nexus 2-2. Two, two, sack Ravager 6-6. Six, six, eat Ravager 7-7. Seven, seven. I'm pretty sure they can only make it a 7-7, seven, seven, right? 4... Animate, use this, sack 2-2, two, two, sack 6-6, six, six, eat 7-7. Seven, seven. Eat cauldron 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, if there's no creatures in the graveyard currently, so if they eat the cauldron first, then they can't exile a creature to put a counter on it. 
Oh, they have the Nexus, right? I didn't see the Nexus. But that's only an 88, right? So animate both. Sack, sack. That's seven. There's still no creature in the graveyard, right? Sack Ravager to itself. Seven, seven. Eat the Ravager, eight, eight. I'm, I'm, I gotta be missing something, right? Plus one from Cauldron, plus one from second Cauldron to Ravager ability. No, it's a wash. <laughs> it's a wash. Yeah, they could have Nature's Claim, I guess. I probably shouldn't block from the beater. I don't know, whatever. I'm just not gonna block. I'll triple block next turn, maybe. After Cauldron activation. They still don't have a creature in the graveyard, is the point that I'm making. Where are you getting the creature in the graveyard? They can't sacrifice the Ravager. Oh, I get it now. Okay, I see it now. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Yep, I see it now. Yeah, the way that you described it, I didn't quite get it, but I now see it. Yep, I got it now. Because they go, they eat the Ravager to the Cauldron, and then they can sack the Cauldron to this to make it a 9-9. Okay, I got it. Yep. I now see it. So they could have made it a 9-9. Good no block. I don't know how they beat Triple Scion, though. <laughs> okay. Why are we activating Ink Moth end step? What's the point of this? I'm not sure. Mainline Scion is pretty broken. Okay. Wait, they're sacking the Ravager? Oh, because they want to put it under the cauldron. Sure. I mean, maybe if they find it out to the ley line, they can maybe somehow survive? I don't know. It seems pretty tough. Even then, I still have the Pesachu in hand. Yeah, Ravager is really sick with cauldron. That's the line that I missed last turn. I think it is Brutus. At least that's the theory that we're going with. Although, if you're looking to play the Rhinos, if you're looking to play Rhinos right now, I would I would not recommend this list, the one with Solitude. I would recommend the first list we played that played uh, Fire Ace over Solitude. Solitude's nice, but I don't know. I just don't think you'd eat it. Although, I, I kind of want to find something better than Fire Ace because I don't like that card that much. Deck. I guess you could play main deck to fairy. Well, I'm not gonna main deck wear dare. I attack. Can main mystical dispute? What is main deck dispute good against? Could main deck dismember that I don't hate. You could play like one flame of anore, even though you don't have wizards. Just as like a modal spell. What is your plan? <laughs> what are we? What are we cooking here? Okay. What what are we what are we doing here? What's the plan, opponent? All right, you have made a five five. I have three four fours. Interesting. I'll pass priority. Rasta nineteen eighty five. Thank you for the fifteen a month resub. Thank you for that support. Appreciate the sub, Rasta. Thank you, thank you. No more ads for Rasta. Tamio's safekeeping. No, I'm good. That wasn't out, though. They would have gone to 10 and taken 8, went to 2. So that was technically an out. <laughs> Gotta be typing some hateful comment. Oh, they should have banned Leyline of the Guild Pact. They're gonna go post to Reddit. Yeah, this is this is definitely a Reddit moment. I can't believe they didn't ban Leyline of the Guild Pact. That is, like, the most absurd take that I've heard. You know, I've seen a lot of really stupid ban list takes, but ban Leyline of the Guild Pack might be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And people, like, still believe that that was something that should have been done. I, I, I don't understand that. Especially, like, all you have to do is watch my stream, and you I keep a hand and without Leyline, and I draw Leyline, and that's the card you want to ban, you know? Like, really? All right, I'm going to post a dot in chat. Okay, they've let the Besager resolve. Now they have conceded. Cool. All right, good talk. 2-0. Let's keep it going. Uh, this hand looks really sick. 
Yeah, and I, I really kind of appreciate that it gives the it gives the Rhinos deck like a different dimension to it. It, it makes it less one dimensional, which is nice. <laughs> Distinction has redeemed suggest a poll for chat. Well, Distinction, I ask you this. What would you like to pull the chat on today? Does it have anything to do potentially with Leyline plus Scion? Skill issue if you lose this. Well, they could be playing Living End. That's what they that's what their last deck was. Just get basic, right? Take less damage. I really want to draw a blue card next turn. What about three borrower over the fire ice? I think three borrower is probably too much. Did Distinction post what he wanted to pull yet? Not yet. Should Leyline of the Guild Pact have been banned? All right. Well, we're going to ask chat. So I've given you my take on Leyline of the Guild Pact. Let's see what chat thinks. There you go. Should Leyline of the Guild Pact have been banned? Voice your opinion in the chat now. Let me know what you think, chat. I don't like that. Not a big fan. Nothing I can do about it. Well, actually, I should solitude this, right? Because that's one less creature in the graveyard. Well, I mean, they're going to take the forest, right? If I don't if I don't solitude this, they 100% take forest. <laughs> I think I'm gonna salt, dude. Because they're gonna take the force either way. What? Oh, what are you? Are you mad at me, Stu? What's going on? Don't be mad at me. What did I do? The Twitch thumbnail was you attacking with three golden scions. Oh, was it? That's funny. That's gas. So I think I hold this scion, right? And hope they don't have a second grief. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to hold this scion. I can also double surveil in response to a living end. Yeah, also, ooh, I like that. See that that's really good for me. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, just don't have endurance, please. Llama916, thank you for the prime sub. Appreciate that two month reset. Thank you very much, Llama. Okay, we surveil here. I don't know what what am I looking for? Well, not that. Uh I mean I'm looking for force. Not that. Okay, that's actually kind of nice because it forces the issue, right? It just forces them to cast it. And then I just get back Solitude, Scion, Solitude, their Ent, and then I can clock them with Scion. I should force them to cast it, I think. And also, they missed a land drop. If they don't hit a land drop next turn, they're just dead. <laughs> yeah, pre-combat. Any Exalteds? I, I, I am astonished at how many times the Exalted has come up this league. Or, like, just today in general. It's come up a lot. There was, like, a spot where... My my zoo opponent had two scions and I had one and a ley line in play and then I cast Arden play and I just freely attacked into theirs. They couldn't even double block. It's like it's so sick. Don't worry, standard. I told you standard after this leak. There's going to be a little bit less standard today, but we will play standard at some point after this leak. I told you. We'll play standard. Don't worry. We got to play that sweet Voja deck. Yeah, that's a good point, too. Arden Plea is good against uh, Pick Your Poison on Late Line. That hasn't come up yet, but that's kind of sick. All right, get out, get, get out of here, Reacher. Solitudes have been okay. I still think I like the first version we played without Solitude more, but it's close. There's no reason to play that. I attack for four. 
Do, 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 do. Who would have thought that people would be clamoring for standard over modern? Yeah. What have what what top times have changed, huh? Well, I mean, it's also just I've basically only been playing standard for the past two months, so it almost seems like the more regular viewers have kind of come to uh, come to assume that I'm playing standard, and we will get to it at some point because we had that sweet Voja deck that I want to play. A little bit of Oja. If we have time, I have an update to the uh, the Gruul mid-range deck, too, that I want to try with Mole God. Why is Grief attacking? I'm confused. Do they just want it in the graveyard? I mean, I'm going to block, right? Every time, I think. Yeah, true, it's not blocking. I mean, they're just giving me five free life, though. Another living end. I still get the Scion back, but I guess they get Generous End back. Now they get Grief. I don't think I care about them getting Grief back. Looks like they do have Second Living End. It's really nice to have two Scions in rotation. <clears throat> Dom, thank you for the 16 a month resub. Welcome back, Dom. Yeah, I guess the End is kind of annoying. I can't really attack into it. Oh no, they have two Ardent Please. They have they have Ardent Please superiority. Okay. Mm well, I mean, go. Yeah, Agent would be nice. Any Cascade spell means they can't ever attack. I can't block. Oh no. <laughs> Come on with the Exalted. Get out of here. Stop. Give me a Cascade spell, please. Okay. I can double block the Grief now. Which I guess is okay. Why didn't they pop a food? They're just saving it for next game. Ent is a 5-7. So I can't attack because I only have a 5-5. Five, five. If I had one more plea, I could send the 6-6 six, six in and still just be, be gaining 6 a turn. Also, Standard is just the best format. Standard is unbelievably good right now. I think I am planning on double blocking. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. That is a good question. I uh, I haven't decided yet. I think I will, but not 100% positive. I'm going to bottom this. The tanky game in Zodiac Mirrors. True. I mean, I could top it so I can double block Reef next turn, but we just have so many better draws. Cascade spell, binding. That's pretty good, too. I'm just cast it now, right? game is <laughs> I mean this game would obviously not be winnable without Leyline Scion it's the only reason I'm even I'm even competing this game <clears throat> yeah that's a good point so I, I'm not sure that the solitudes offer enough against most of the rest of the metagame but if people are still playing living end solitude is one of the best possible cards you can have against them because it just lines up so well against the card living end are they hard casting Ent? Bro, chill. <laughs> Yo, chill. They do have no cards in hand. Play as a sideboard card. Solitude? Uh, yeah, because I guess it wouldn't change the composition of the rest of your deck. Like, you would still be playing, uh, like, Leyline Ardently regardless, and Binding. So you still have the same number of white cards. Can I draw Ardently, please? It's not fair. They have two, and I only have one. Ooh. I'll take that. That's nice. It's probably better than Ardently. Well, not if I'm going to draw like that. Uh, Your turn. You may proceed. <laughs> 
Yeah, Lorian has been officially revealed. What about where, where's uh where's Lorian unrevealed? You know, is that going to be in the next MH or the the next Lord of the Rings set? Lorian keeps revealing things, but they they've never unrevealed things. Oh yeah, what was the poll results by the way? I wanted to see that. What did you guys say, chat? View results. Should Landland of the Guild Pact have been banned? 71% said no. That's what I expect. Good job, chap. We did it. We got there. Bro, I can't beat that. Give me, like, another Lorian or something. How, how have we gotten to this point where the two Cascade decks are just playing this, like, weirdo mid-range game against each other? How did we get here? I mean, it's not even good. That doesn't let me attack. Yeah, this is just the new living in mirror. <laughs> I guess I should have this in play in case they find a Paseju. All right, uh, go. Your turn. I'll be able to attack eventually. I'm, I'm almost getting to the point where I have to chump block. I think once I've gotten to the point where I have to chump block, I, I'm pretty sure I've lost. I, I can't, I can't, I don't think I can win this game if I lose the Scion. 4-4 <clears throat> four, Trample with Trample. Does it have double Trample? No, they like replace the Trample. They move it onto the different line. Okay. <laughs> please don't have please don't have drawn a subtlety, please. Please and thank you. <laughs> you didn't draw to the subtlety, did you? Alright, get this guy out of here. Now I can send with a lot of stuff. Everything but the shardless. What is this? They're cycling a waker of waves. Probably should have done that before the Solitude resolved, right? So they could have found Subtlety. I don't think there's much reason to attack with Shardless. Oh no, Pop Food. God, this game is this game is something else, huh? They're at 18. They can't even really double block the Solitude, because then it puts it in my graveyard if they cast Living End again. Although, maybe at this point, because they have four Wakers, their Living End is probably good enough. Oh, they just drew another Living End. Okay, that we might not be able to beat. Hmm. They've gone through three. I think Benino... Did Benino's list have four? I don't remember. His list might have had four. I, I honestly can't remember. Yeah, I think the new list is playing four. We're going to find out. I did find the fourth one. That can't be good. Mm. All right, all right, all right, all right. We could play it out, but not quad waker. Okay, so dispute Gucci. Force Gucci... I think Blood Moon is decent against this version. We have a lot of cyborg cards. Binding bad. Subtlety, I think bad. Maybe not Dispute. They like one Subtlety. What is Dispute good against? I guess it's good against their Subtleties. I have to keep all the Solitudes. Man, the Solitudes are a lot worse without Binding, so that we have less white cards. What's the next worst card in my deck? <laughs> it does counter Ardently, yeah. I don't think... I don't think... Are they playing Teferi? I guess Menino's list did have two Teferis. Do we get away from the Scions? I don't know. Scion is really good. Like, Scion was... the Scion was the only reason I was even in that last game. I'm never cutting a Fawn against them. I think I'll just try this. I'll play first. Mm. All right, well, the nice thing about this hand is if we brick, we just get to move on to the next match. Do we need Lorian? 
Yeah, I mean, our land count's pretty low if we don't have Lorian. I kind of actually not want to suspend here, so I can hold it as a pitch card for Endurance. I think that's better. The speed over Moon. I don't know. I think Moon is a little bit better when they don't have Outburst, because it means they need two specific basics to be able to play through Blood Moon. Also, never didn't have it, by the way. So that's kind of why I like the, uh, I think that's kind of why I like the Blood Moons. Feels like it is a little, th this version feels like it's a little bit worse against Moon. It's the Leyline bug. Still don't really want to suspend the Footfalls. If only we could, like, Solitude our own Scion to put it in the graveyard before a living end. Now we're talking. I can double surveil, though. And the righteous side of hell. Bro, chill. I attack. <laughs> yeah, Leyline, Leyline plus, uh, Leyline plus Moon is uh, a timestamp thing, uh, except for basics. The basics still work no matter what. But versus the non-basics, it is a timestamp thing. That card is really fucking good against my hand. Holy shit. I think I just hard cast Endurance in response. Because if they subtlety it, I just put the Endurance on top and then cast it main phase. They need, like, double subtlety. Okay, target you. Because now if they bounce, we just get the kill to fairy. And we're fine. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. They're at 11. Hmm. Okay, kill to fairy. Thank you. I think I'm just not doing anything. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah. All the other stuff has hexproof. Yes, yeah, so they have to bounce the ley line. Which I think is probably right anyways. Even if they could bounce these, they would still want to bounce the ley line. I think I'm passing. Because I want to hold up my three surveil lands if they go for a living end. And we, get, we can try to just find a dude. Or we can also solitude. Hmm... I don't even know if suspending is gonna matter. Like I don't I just don't think this game's lasting three more turns. Four turns for that matter. Yeah, I don't think the game's gonna last that long. They are holding up mana? The hell? Oh. <laughs> Did they forget the violet outburst got banned? <laughs> Game three, I guess. They didn't even have red though, they couldn't cast outburst. They're too pre band pilled. Mmm. Yeah, the ban outburst. I want to keep this so bad. I don't know if I should, but. Uh, if this ends a mulligan, I don't want to be right. Yeah, we get a lot of looks at the second land. Wait, how do you see. How do you count four? I count three. Draw, draw, plus surveil. Okay, they kept the card on top and then surveil and then cycled. But they didn't grief me. Easiest game of my life, by the way. Never did not have it. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking that the other... I was thinking that earlier today, Cathal. Why isn't Living End playing Leyline Scion? It just, like, gives them another angle of attack. And it makes their, like, if they can surveil a Scion into the graveyard, it makes their post-living end so much better, because all their shit just has, you know, infinite abilities. Like, your Waker of Waves is a 7-7 seven, seven with, you know, all those abilities. It seems really good. Right, scion me. They probably have a force for my Teferi, but whatever. It's too free for the bean, you know? It is too free for the bean.
Bean equals free. <laughs> yeah, now I'm flooding out. Yeah, well, at least if they have force, they have to pitch. Because they didn't shock. Uh, combat. I mean, at Teferi Resolve, they're just dead, right? Go. <laughs> good luck. Your turn. You imagine if Beans was still legal? Would Beans be good in this format? Without Fury? It'd still be pretty good, right? How do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about the beans ban? I don't. I'm still kind of indifferent on it. I I like could have. I could have. I could have gone another way on it. I don't know. What What's nice about the beans ban is that it's an uncommon, so you're not necessarily like hurting people's collection by banning it. So it's a it's a plus ban that like a plus EV ban that way. But I don't know if it was really that much of a problem, you know. Have they stacked the triggers wrong? Um. Yeah, so I go endurance here. I should have. Oh, I should have pitched the ley line. What am I doing? I'm not thinking. Why didn't I pitch the ley line? That was stupid. I was not thinking. That's what I was doing. Because <clears throat> then they have to take the shard list, and I get to keep the subtlety in hand. If beans hadn't been banned, violent uppers would have been banned. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I guess people were trying to cascade into beans before, even though I, I don't even know if that was necessarily what they should have been doing the whole time, right? I'm just plus. I could have minused, but whatever. <clears throat> Excited about Pioneer RCQ? I am, yeah. Excited to get to work on Pioneer again. I haven't played Pioneer in a in a long time. So it's it's it'll be nice to get like a, a change of pace. I think I probably will be doing a lot of Pioneer content. Like, I think what I want the channel to be is just focused on whatever the current RCQ format is, you know. Uh, Sure. Mm -mm -mm. So we'll be doing a lot of Pioneer when the RCQ season comes around. You miss being affinity. <laughs> yeah, but that deck wasn't good. Even though I wanted it to be good, it was never good. They won't play anymore. All right, three and zero chat. Let's go. The Fury ban was not necessarily targeted at Rhinos. It was targeted at Scam, and it did its job. Scam was unplayable after that ban. You know, Scam probably got a lot better. Well, the thing is, like, here's the thing, Karate, right? You can't really build your deck to be all in on scam because you only have one thing to scam with. So I think the context of, like, Rakdos specifically is not nearly as good. But now, that's not necessarily to say that Grief, like, turn one double Grief is probably still the best thing you could be doing. But I think it's a lot better in the Goryeo shell than it is in the scam shell. And maybe Goryeo's is just, like, the new scam deck. You know. Oh, you're saying post ban? Maybe yeah, I could see it. Why did I get three separate notifications of the same person following? Was Twitch just like broken? What did Darling say? Casual player for years and years, but I want to try to be more competitive and improve. Do you have any advice on how to start improving? Uh, watch the stream. Can I subtlety this? Hmm. Maybe. No, it's kind of stupid. They just put it on top and cast the next turn. I never know how to answer those questions. They're really tough to answer. But yeah, just in a general sense, maybe not my specific stream, but just watching watching people and kind of like understanding, trying to understand why they're making the plays they're making. Bro, chill. Can't really pitch my own cascade, my only cascade card. <sighs> I feel very, very dead. All right. Not feeling good about this game. Unless I can find an untapped white source. If I was playing in a in a modern tournament this weekend, Brutus, I would be playing Rhinos. I would be playing Domain Rhinos. If that answers your question. Untapped white source, please. Kind of the same thing. What is funny is they can't field me. I like that. Yeah. 
They can't feel me right now. If there's any solace, it's that. It'd be slightly discerning in which streams you watch, too. <laughs> Is that your polite way of saying that my stream sucks? I mean, I, I you're right. I don't blame you. Dude, stop. Stop, please. Come on, man. Stop, stop. <laughs> Just three rhinos chilling over here. All right, sure. What the the surgical sign of Draco when I have Forest Island in play? What? Why would they do that? Wouldn't you rather surgical like binding or something? I don't know. That's true. You are watching me. <clears throat> oh, I know why they're doing it because of Tasha's, right? Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, they have Tasha's. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Somebody asked about infect. I was gonna go back to that. Uh, what are the, where was the infect question? Do you think infect will actually be ever a tier one deck? I just want it to be again. Uh, I don't think so. Should probably auto yield to these for now. I have how many cards in library? 29? <clears throat> oh, what's the other card? The, the quick reflexes? That card is sweet. That would be a nice bump for uh, for infect. I maybe should have just killed one of these crabs, and maybe I should do that now. Perhaps something I should have done a couple turns ago. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we probably should. I should have maybe done that last turn. I'll do it this turn though. Okay, well, I could make Rhinos instead. <sighs> Wait, do I have Rhinos left? Oh, no, I have no Rhinos left, right? Okay, never mind. Yeah, then the answer is obviously this. I'm also not going to play the fetch land. Because if I play the fetch land, they can jabate me. Um, Where they, like, field my fetch, I crack in response, and then they can trap me. So I'm just not even going to play the fetch. It is kind of awesome that we've never given them an opportunity to field and also never fetched. Okay, that's annoying. Twenty five cards in library. Okay, that's a little scary. I'd like to kill them in five turns. Well, four turns ideally. <clears throat> what if their last cards are just two traps? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm just committing to the bit, right? I'm just going to hope that these rhinos carry me and never, ever fetch or cycle or do anything. I think that's my plan. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's annoying. They're not fetching main phase, though, which means something proactive is probably not under the shell dock. Yeah, we do have a pitch for subtlety, which is not irrelevant. No, you gotta fetch first, buddy. <laughs> nope, that's, that's not how that works. That is, in fact, not how that works. Okay. Looks like Drown. Yeah, it could be. It could just be a generic removal spell for this Rhino. I would love to draw Forest. Doesn't do anything. We don't have any Rhinos left anyways. I mean, they're dead next turn. Mm -mm. What happened? They needed to fetch with the Flooded... Brother, you have main deck Echoing Truth? Come on. I mean, at least they didn't wait. They should have waited, honestly. <laughs> they honestly should have waited and just take it. Why? I, they should have just taken forward and done it next turn. Oh, they are ready for rhinos. This is what we like to call pre boarded. 
Ah, now we're doing the shell dog thing. I see. No, nope, we're just not casting it. Okay, I'm. I don't understand. What the hell could be under the shell dock then? Maybe they misclicked. <laughs> okay, I would like to cast crashing footfalls, please. Please let me draw force negation. Force of negation, please. Doesn't do anything. All right, go. Still not playing the fetch. Oh, maybe it's a land. Yeah, that could be. It could be a land. I mean, at this point, they could just hard cast traps. So maybe I should have fetched. Do I even have fetchables left? I have no idea. I, I can't be bothered to look. I cannot be bothered to look and see if I have lands that I can fetch left. It's too much effort. <laughs> We're trying it again. Third time's the charm. Third time is the charm. Yeah, all right. You can draw three. You certainly can draw three. I cannot do anything about that. 13 cards in library. There are nine. Sure wish they were at eight. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, this means we're almost certainly dead, right? If they're paying two life for this, they probably have trap. All right, fine. Do, do, do. Okay, give me disputes. Give me force. Give me endurance. Give me Teferi. And one blood moon because haha, ha, funny number. Haha, ha, streamer submitted funny number deck. Yeah, also, you don't want to cut cards against Mill. Most of the time, you just want to. Like, you, you also just don't, like, all my cards are fine, you know? I don't have any bad cards against them. Yeah, that's kind of what I've been feeling, too. I've been playing Magic Online for almost five hours, and this is only my third league, right? And if we were playing on Arena, I probably would have played 20 matches by now, so. I don't know, I feel like, you know, even though I, I, I wanted to spend today, like, a little bit of today just doing modern stuff, but <laughs> I think we spent a little bit more time than I wanted to. Because I would like to play some standard today. I'll keep this. No, I've not queued for Dallas yet. I'm trying. Trying. That costs blue mana. I can't do that. Is this proof that you secretly enjoy modern? No, I'm just playing modern because there was a ban announcement, and this is the this is the hot content right now, you know? That's all. Don't look too much into it, you know? We'll still go back to standard tomorrow. Full standard. Chill with those crabs, man. Okay, yeah, they don't have a counter spell up. That's good. What am I looking for off the surveil lands? Probably a forest. What deck am I looking at for Pioneer Q season? The deck that I'm going to be starting with first is Vampires. Mm. I, do, I like the Vampires deck a lot. It's kind of crazy to graveyard that now. Eh, it's not. It's fine. But yeah, I want to start with Vampires. I also kind of want to start with um, the Heroic deck. I think the Heroic deck might be in a good spot, too. Play Pia. Nah, surely, surely Pia is not the play. Although, what's nice about Pia is it does kind of grind well, so it's probably not that bad against Vampires. What if they hit all my lands? Well, also, I want to get the Surveil land. So if I fetch the Surveil land before they trap me, then what's the point, right? Grease Fang with Archdruid's Charm? How the hell do you support that mana base? <laughs> Pia Storm? Like the old version we played with, uh, with Showdown and Steamkin? Well, the problem with that version is it's much worse against the removal spell decks. And if there's a lot of Rakdos, then... Yeah, I think the Heroic deck is, is quite good. 
Like, it's, it's people kind of assume that the Rakdos decks are good against it, but there's a lot of protection spells. I don't, I don't know about Arch Druid Charm and Grease Fang. That seems a little ambitious. Just a little ambitious. Also, another thing about just, like, generally the, the game's taking a lot longer is I think people generally are a lot slower on Moda than they are on Arena. For what it's worth. I've noticed my opponents have been, for the most part, like, not the fastest. Exalted. Get it in there. I heard hard to navigate UI there. I mean, honestly, it's probably harder to navigate Moto than it is, or it's probably harder to navigate Arena than it is Moto. <laughs> Would you, wouldn't you say that? Why would I fetch now? I'm just not going to fetch. I, I don't need to fetch. I have a ley line. The auto tap. Yeah, I guess the auto tapper is like the auto tapper is the is the is the difference, right? I have no basics. It's unfortunate. Still going to keep this to maybe pitch to a force. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -mm. Extirpate Endurance. Okay. I would like to attack. You've noticed we're 0 69 today? That is not true in the slightest. Mm -mm -mm. I mean I, I am I am no stranger to the auto tap. I've I've been auto tap my fair share of times. The worst part about the auto tapper is when you have Mirex, like it always if you if you play the Mirex for turn, it wants to tap every other land, even if you're trying to hold up stuff. And that is <laughs> that shit sucks, you know. All right, I will play more rhinos. Or do I have rhinos? Oh, I do have rhinos. Is that my last one? That's my last one. Easy. But yeah, like, if you play Murex for turn, and the turn that you play it, it makes colored mana, but for whatever reason, because it's a rainbow land, it will tap every other land but the Murex. So, like, if you're trying to hold up colored mana on their turn, it's super awkward, because, like, the auto tapper never wants to tap the Murex that turn, even though you want to, because you Murex doesn't make colored mana on their turn. You've showed me a deck that has five Diamond Lion, and I, I love it. You know, I'm here for it. I am here for it. All right, game three. Oh, my God. I just want to play standard. Game three. Go, 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 go. Also, Moto lags a lot more than Arena does. Yeah, that that is certainly, like, the biggest delta between Moto and Arena is both the fact that it's incredibly expensive to get started unless you already have a massive collection and there's no rental service. Is there a way to do rental service on Arena? Because, boy, I wish there was. But I don't... I don't even know how you would go about doing that. You'd have to rent out like a god account, I guess, which yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't even know how you would begin to do that. Yeah, and I mean it's intentional. They, you know, that's that's that was their goal with Arena. Keep this. No trading in my trading card game. Well, it's a CCG, not a TCG, right? Is that is that what it is? I've been told it was a, a TCG. Or a CCG, rather. I don't want to fetch, but I do want to suspend. You may proceed. You know, we never won't ride. Barbecue, thank you for the four-month resub. Welcome back, Barbecue. We always ride. I'm never not going to. Anti on Arena. I mean, all the cards are the same value, right? So it's, like, it doesn't matter. You win the game and you just randomly get a copy of Necropotence in your, in your collection. Like, what the hell is this? Surgical Footfalls. I mean, that's kind of fucked up. Nothing I can do about that. Good thing I didn't Surgical Scion. Not a, not a stream sniper, by the way. If you have another Surgical, though, we, we're not going to be friends. Okay, good. 
Your turn. Proceed. Well, the nice thing about playing Psy on a Draco is they can't kill it. So, it probably will go all the way. I've been using Mana Traders for three years now? Like, right around... Honestly, right around when I started streaming is when I started using it. Because, like, when I, when I first started streaming, I was watching Spike... And Spike was using it a lot, and I was like, that looks cool. I don't have to have I don't have to own cards anymore. So. And that's when I started using it. So it's been about three years. Mana Traders is great. I mean, I haven't been using it as much over the past couple of months, because I've been playing mostly standard and arena, but it is very, very good. I have a code. I'm not sure that it's updated, but I do have a code. So we're definitely getting um definitely getting trapped here, right? I would assume. I can't tell if that's copy pasta or not. I'm gonna assume it is copy pasta, but I have no idea. Okay. Um what do I care more about? Teferi being in play or binding the uh, the crab? I think I care more about getting Teferi in play. Yeah, that sounds like copy pasta to me. <laughs> yeah, it is now. If it wasn't before, it is now. What they have? They have something. Extra paint endurance. All right, sure. Still have forty six cards in library. They have three cards in hand. I'm going to bounce the crab, because they can't go... Well, I guess they can go crab, play land. Ooh. I might consider subtletying the crab. Eh, I still have a basic left. It's on two. Hmm. <sighs> Do I subtlety this crab? Hmm. This is really close. Because the thing about not casting the subtlety is I have a two-turn clock. And I think it's really important to have a two-turn clock here. But then I have to let them get at least, like, four crab triggers if I'm not subtletying this. I mean, they could just get the triggers next turn, right? I think I'm not going to subtlety it. Yeah, but I mean, they would probably just search, right? They would almost certainly just search. Yeah, the other issue that I'm now realizing, thankfully I didn't mill the forest, but the other issue was if they milled my basic forest, I wouldn't have been able to cast the subtlety. So thankfully, oh, we actually get the binding now too. Oh, that's fucking huge. Yeah, this is nuts. Because then we just get to go binding hold up subtlety. Actually, wait, I did the math wrong. It's not a two turn clock. Yeah, I'm bad at math. Okay, yeah, that's not a horrendous draw. Right, because they go to 10 and I have 7 next turn. <coughs> now if they play a grab, I'll snap subtlety it. <coughs> snap it off. Everybody to be... I will make blue mana. Okay. Would you like to archive trap me? No. All right. Well, I'll cast my subtlety. <laughs> Leyland is so fun. It is fun. I'm having a good time. You know what else is really awesome about Leyline Ley 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 of the Guild Pact against them is normally, under normal circumstances, if they field you out of basics, your fetches can't do anything. But, like, the fact that your fetch lands still produce mana after you've been after you've been fielding a bunch is really, really sick. And it, like, super matters in this matchup. They could have Damnation, I guess. Okay, well now Damnation's not good enough because I can hold up Hardcast Subtlety. Alright, you're at three. You have to mill me for 36 in one turn? Don't 36 me, bro. 
What is this? Cycle Fractured Sanity. Okay. I'm with you. I'm still with you. Fetched a two. Get a Surveil Land. Not sure they have it out. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's a nice copy pasta because you can you can use that for a bunch of different a bunch of different things. You can include a lot of different archetypes in there. Ooh, chat, we're gonna get a trophy match. We are going to get a trophy match. All these games have gone to three matches, by the way. All these matches have gone to three games, by the way. Trophy time. All right, trophy prediction. Here we go. <clears throat> Rhinos is saved. I mean, I've been saying this all stream. Rhinos is still the best deck. You know, whether you wanted to believe me or not was up to you, but it is still the best deck. Good. I keep. I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep my hand. <laughs> I will keep. Still not sure if this mana base is right. That's what I'm not sure. Mana base could be a little off. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, I will show you. I've shown you my ley line. Please respond. Ragavan. Okay, well, if they play Dothy, I'm kind of fucked. I guess that's not true. We just have Scion. How does their deck beat a Scion? Do they have... They might have main deck... Um, They might have main deck Shieldred's Edict, I guess. They probably don't, they probably don't have that many, though. <clears throat> Come on, there's no way they have Crackling Doom. Stop. They definitely have Dothy, though. No? Not even Dothy? I guess, Sion. Orcish Bowmasters? Oh, they do have the Edict! Main deck, Shieldred's Edict. Metagame equals solved. <clears throat> You're gonna need me to punt this match? I mean, I'll do the best that I can, but it is Rakdos, so, you know. I can only do so much. All right, I would like to cast the Shardless Agent card. How many cyborg cards do you think they have for Rhinos? Probably a lot. <laughs> okay, they're off it. They don't want to play anymore. Why are you running? Okay, Fawn out. Fawn not good against Rakdos. Easy. Dismember good... Uh, what the hell else is good against them? I don't know. It's a fairy, maybe? Force of Vigor? What do you want Vigors against? What are we even trying to Vigor? If they're on Grief shit, I kind of want to keep the subtleties. Nothing else is bad, right? If it's Asmo food? I think it's just Scam. Because I don't think Asmo food would play Shieldred's Edict. It's got to just be Scam. Vigor their Blood Moon? I don't think I care about Blood Moon. If, if they show me Moon, I could just... I have three basics. I can just fetch around it. Endurance is okay. It's like a nice blocker against Ragavan. But it's like... Endurance is not really the way that you want to address the grief issue. Because if they grief you, you have to Endurance pitch and still lose a card to grief. So it's like... You're still down three cards in the exchange. So, it's not ideal. I could play the first figure, I guess. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I think it's fine. We're already so far ahead in this match, but I don't think it matters too much. Uh, I keep. Mm, this hand is a little weak to Blood Moon. Just because I don't have Blade Line. Ragavan. Oh, they don't have turn to Blood Moon, do they? Okay, in case they have Blood Moon, I can go... Do I go Forest Island or Plains Island? Well, I guess that's the question we have to ask ourselves, is like... 
are we even playing around Blood Moon with Scion? Maybe not. <laughs> sure, with this hand specifically. If they turn to Blood Moon, but yeah, I want Vigor. I think Island Forest is better because of Shardless. Yeah, I'm going to go with Misty. If they don't Blood Moon me, then I'll just fetch the Triumph and play Scion. Yeah, they can also just take your Endurance first. You know what's hella awkward is if they hit my Triumph here. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. That's very, very nice of you to not let me draw that card. I think they are casting Blood Moon. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Okay. Alright, we try them, gamers. We try them here. We try them. Okay. Would prefer them to not have an Edict here, but, you know, it's fine. I could have just cast Binding, I guess. Maybe that was better. Not sure. But if they don't Blood Moon me exactly this turn, I can just go fetch planes, Lorien for Island, and then I just don't care about it, so. Okay, also don't really care about that, because we have two Cascade spells. This hand is... Re <laughs> this is not an easy hand of thoughts to use yet. They kind of have to take Binding. Oh, I'm blocking. Ding, 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 ding. I will attack here. I mean, they're just dead, right? It's the Yed song. Chat, Yed spam. Hello there. Hello there, Rakdos opponent. You are now officially dead. Sure. Where are you? Are they thinking about attacking there? What the hell is that? Uh, okay. I will go to combat. What say you? This might have been an aggressive attack. Okay, so trade, pop, go to seven. But then I just rhinos you again, right? Where are you? Oh, <laughs> also it's trample. God, that's funny. Uh, all right. Surely they don't have another another uh, explosives, right? I'll top. <clears throat> Your turn. How has Rhinos been? Well, you came at a good time. Legions and. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Legions end concede. All right, folks. It's official. Rhino's still the best deck in the format. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, tell me. Tell Make sure you write me a five-page dissertation on why Leyline of the Guild Pack needs to be banned. But thanks for watching. I had a great time. Deck's perfect. I mean, I was going to say cut the Solitudes, but I don't know. They were pretty good that league, so maybe not. Maybe keep the Solitudes. Deck's busted. What do you want me to say? They had a main deck. Oh, the Legion's end? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh, uh, shit. You know, Violent Outburst.